Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here and the change slash buff for Ger Falcons recently went live and this thing is dummy good now. To summarize the change quickly, now whenever you exit invis with this exotic on, you get 10 seconds of volatile rounds for your void weapons. This used to give a 35% weapon buff and you got the volatile rounds from doing a finisher while invis. Now, you just get that 35% buff from finishing while invis, so all that really happened was these things swapped places, which means with just one hunter fragment, we have infinite volatile rounds. This thing, in my opinion, just went from something that was kinda mid in endgame content to now one of the best exotics to run on Void Hunter. The damage buff before was great, don't get me wrong, just not as good as constant volatile rounds. In this video, I'm going to be going over a complete build that is going to allow you to casually maintain 100% uptime on volatile rounds, and we are also going to have a roaming buff with this, along with Devour and Infinite Invis effects. So we're still getting every best part of the Void 3.0 subclass. If you guys do like these builds and you want to see more like them on the channel, especially come Lightfall, make sure to drop a like and sub down below. As of right now, only 18% of you guys that watch these videos are actually subscribed. So slap that red button. And let's get into it. Okay, so starting in the Void subclass, we are going to be rocking Deadfall for our super, which recently got a 4 second buff in its duration. This thing is great for clearing larger hordes and for boss DPS now. I have Gambler's Dodge on to refresh my melee whenever I dodge near an enemy, but if you did want to opt for Marksman Dodge for something like a boss fight, that works too. And then lastly, I am running Vortex Grenade. Any Lingering Grenade is going to work with the build, so Void Wall could be another solid option. The piece that ends up bringing this full build together and is an absolute must-have is going to be the Aspect Stylish Execution. With this ability, anytime we kill an enemy that is debuffed by Void Effects, we are going to instantly go Invis. This includes Weaken, Suppression, and most importantly, Volatile Effects, and we will also be gaining True Sight with this, and our melee will now be able to weaken enemies shortly after going invis too. But the main cycle we are going to be running here is dodging to proc invis, then getting volatile rounds from Falcons, and then going absolutely crazy. This will infinitely reproc the 10 seconds of volatile rounds each kill we get, so as long as there are enemies, we have volatile rounds for all void weapons. I briefly hinted at our second aspect, but we are going to be running Vanishing Step with the build as well. This lets us gain invisibility from our dodge abilities. It's great for starting up the cycle, as I mentioned, and is also super useful if we need to go invis on demand. With this setup, we are going to have four fragments in total to run with the build. First up is going to be Echo of Undermining, which gives our grenades the weaken effect. Now, when grenades damage enemies, this is going to apply a 15% debuff, making them take 15% more damage from all sources. Echo of Starvation is going to allow orbs of power that we pick up to give us the Devour effect. Now, with Devour, any kill we get will give us back full health and shields, along with a percentage of grenade energy that ends up scaling with the rank of the enemy defeated. This also adds duration to the Devour timer, so as we keep getting kills, we keep Devour up. Echo of Remnants is going to allow Lingering Grenades to have longer durations. This is why I chose to run Vortex Grenades personally, and why Void Wall is going to be a close second option. This should also pair pretty well with the Weaken effect to keep enemies debuffed longer, while also just dealing more damage. Lastly, we do have on Echo of Persistence. This allows all Void buffs applied to us to now last longer. For this build, we will be utilizing Invis and Devour, so both of these will just last longer at base, and for something like Devour, this should allow us to get up to 15 total seconds in duration. I did already cover Ger Falcons in the beginning of the video, so if you guys do want an explanation of the changes slash buff it received, go make sure to check that out, but the TLDR is that when coming out of Invis, we get 10 seconds of volatile rounds, which we will constantly be reapplying when using Stylish Execution. Mod-wise, on this build, I wanted to focus on increasing the damage output we have, so starting things off, we are running Elemental Ordinance. This is one of the best ways to spawn in Elemental Wells that match our subclass in the game, and all we need is a kill. I also have on Fanta Might, which is the first damage increasing mod we are running. This allows us to get a boost in weapon damage that matches our subclass type after grabbing an elemental well that also matches our subclass type. So for us, a void elemental well will then give our void weapons a 25% damage increase. Bountiful wells are going to double the amount of wells we spawn in at base. This is just going to make it easier to pick elemental wells up as there are more around and more that we can use to refresh this damage increase. 
Lastly, I am running Elemental Charge to become charged with lights whenever we grab an Elemental Well. If this does match our subclass type, as it will, we are then going to gain two stacks of charged with lights. And then to actually use these stacks, I am running High Energy Fire. This is a 20% damage increase to all weapons while charged with light. And since this is a global buff, it will stack with Font of Might. Other than these mods, the only other crucial one to run is also going to be Harmonic Siphon. This will spawn in orbs of power when getting double kills with weapons that match our subclass type. Since I am running Funnel Web with the build, that is how I'm spawning constant orbs of power, and these are going to be procking Devour for us. Honestly, with this change, I think Void Hunter once again became one of the best subclasses in the entire game. The Arc Melee build is great, but not the best in a team setting, and Solar builds hit for wild amounts of damage against bosses, but they tend to be somewhat selfish to run. With the Div nerf and Tether being more meta than previous seasons, I think this build will be a go-to for most Hunter mains in Lightfall, assuming we don't get too many meta shifting changes with the Strand subclass and debuffs as well. Let me know your thoughts on the build in the comments below, and make sure to join the Discord if you guys do want the dim links to builds too. I do also stream a bunch over on my Twitch, where we do speedruns and low mans live. I'll link to that and the Discord server are both in the description below. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.